How are you? Welcome back to Green Hill Gaming, where I share my passion of video games with the whole wide world. I am back with another PS VR 2 video playing Gran Turismo 7, of course, in VR. So sit back, relax, but as always, and more importantly, enjoy the video. I'm actually playing more of Gran Turismo 7 in VR. Um, I'm progressing through the game a lot more uh, in VR. When I was playing on standard mode, I found myself obsessing over the uh, the license center and just doing like just doing like poxy uh, circuit experience, you know, trying to get a gold uh, trophy. But uh, I'm actually getting stuck into the beef of of, of the main game now, uh, so I'm making a lot of progression, and I believe that's all thanks to VR. VR is making me a lot more immersed um, in the game. Which is great. So I'm gonna hop into the cafe. So this is menu book number 20. Show your custom wing. My custom wing. Go to car customization at GT Auto and fit a custom wing set. Before we take on the Asia Oceania Championship, I'd like you to tune your car. Go to car customization at GT Auto and select custom parts then wing to fit a custom wing set for your car. It doesn't matter which car you use, but custom wing sets aren't available for all models. If you go to the shop um, and a custom wing set isn't available by using a different car. If you're not sure which to use, I suggest the Nissan R32 GTR you collected previously. Okay, keep that in mind. Custom wing set will definitely give you your car a set of appearance. Uh, come back, okay. All right, I actually changed my car to the Nissan GT something. <laughs> I have to try to remember now. Okay. Took me a while to find the car. Car customization. Custom parts. Wing. Custom wing set. Hi. Uh, right. Go on, 2,500, not that bad. It's got a trophy. Bought and equipped aerodynamic dynamic parts. All right, so that's that done. I think. Okay, so what I actually like about the cafe mode of the game is it's uh, essentially um, introducing you to everything the game has to offer, uh, but not in an intrusive way, you know? Um, so by the end of the cafe mode, I would presume that you would just know everything there is to know about this game. Well done, another menu challenge successfully completed. Your car looks completely different with that custom wing, doesn't it? And what's more, it will allow you to adjust downforce. You can adjust rear downforce by going to aerodynamics in car settings. Uh, try increasing downforce for technical courses and decreasing it for high speed circuits. There's all sorts of other parts available in GT Auto as well, so you can customize to your heart's content. Now then, next up is the Asia, Asia Oceania Championship. It's time to put your tuned up baby to the test. I don't actually have to pick that car, do I? Hopefully not now. So here it is. In menu book number 21, Championship is at Oceana Championship. 
Finishing the top three, I can do that. For this menu, I'd like you to go to the World Circuits and into the Asia Oceania Championship. You'll be racing on tracks in Japan and on Australia's world famous Mount uh, Panorama Circuit. Your goal is to finish in the top three. Good luck out there, we're behind you all the way. I'm hoping I can use whatever car I want to use, like whatever car I have, like. Hopefully I can now. Oh, oh, okay. Is it two? Oh no, okay, here we go. All right, hopefully I can change my car. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. All right, um... I'm gonna go with performance points. I feel like I should go with performance points and just see how we get on. Cause like that's what I would that's what I would normally do, like. So which is the highest performance points? This one here. No. Five sixteen. Five sixty eight. Five sixty seven. I'm gonna go with one here and which tires do I have racing soft yeah wait a second now might even be able to get better ones will I no all right I'm gonna fancy my chances and there's three races I'd say this will be challenging to be honest. Because I mightn't have the best the best car like, you know. The, the one in front of me you know like looks like a far better tuned car like as well, like so. And that's the thing as well, like I didn't actually tune this this particular car apart from the tires like. But uh, we see how we got in there, yeah. Fifteen, Jesus. I don't mind if I, like, all I have to do is come in the top four, didn't it? Top four.
Oh, look at the tram. Or train. There's no that down, to be honest. The first time in VR. So now I actually, oh dude, I was going to say I haven't bought a VR2 game. Like, because up until, like I have Resident Evil Village in Gran Turismo 7, which I already own. But uh, no, I actually bought, uh, I'm going to keep it as a surprise, I actually bought a game for PSVR2. So uh, I spoke about this before, but even though a PSVR 2 is not compatible with PSVR 1 games, if you own games like Gran Turismo 7 and Resident Evil Village, like you can play them for VR 2 like straight out of the box, like and they're fantastic experience, like, like they're the whole game playable in VR 2, like. Listen to that music. Look at that fastest lap, Green Hill Gaming. I think I'll stick to this car actually.
to the next race. I feel like I should probably or restrictor. Maybe even better. I actually think I have to do it to be honest. Well, you can't make any... Okay. Damn it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Be grand, be grand. So I presume they're the same cars, like. It's a different race. It's a different... I presume like, the people I'm racing against are the same, like. Because if it wasn't, it would make any sense, like. Pull up in 
the Maserati, Maserati, made me the Bugatti, Bugatti, Ducati, Ducati, they're telling me I'm too flashy, too flashy, in that way. So what the requirements are, you have to come at least sport in all three races or not like that. You see. I'm going for those tires. Okay, unless a meteor falls out of the sky and blows my car up into the air, this should go good. There's two races now that I won, like first place, like so. Even if I do bad in the third race, surely I should actually go through. Like, what time is it now? Yeah, doing good. I think it goes by points. Like I to I have a total of 24 points. Like so. I think I just have to keep the points going. Like yeah. and go to the next race. Looks like a bigger track as well. Alright, let's go.
Simmons, M. Simmons. I actually love this track. And the song is good too. Just in case you got confused. Looking bored. The music track and the race track. I love them both. It reminds me of Need for Speed. On the ground, I think. Nice! Ha! <laughs> Three in a row! I wasn't actually expecting that, no, to be honest. 
Oof. That was a marathon. That was an absolute marathon of a race, that was. Now look at that, 36. Boom. Fifty thousand credits. Don't mind if I do. I've got a BMW M3 Sport Evolution 89. I don't know which is the best to be honest. Well, it's looking I actually got the worst. Huh. Well, that was good now, unless. That look. Like, all my gold championships. And Lucas is going to be happy with that. Or Luca. Well done for winning the Asia Oceania Championship. We've got your reward all ready for you. Go ahead and take it. Well, thank you. Do that now the next time. I'm gonna open my star roller ticket. I think I have two of them. I'll open the three one first. This is getting ridiculous at this stage. Well, 10,000 credits is 10,000 credits. Something, I suppose. That is something. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's gonna do it for the video. I feel like I just that was a, that was one hell of a marathon. That was no like a championship. So more than happy to end the video here. Um. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next PSVR2 video. Enjoy the rest of your day.